This is Steve Johnson, University of Maine Cooperative Extension, bringing this information on what are the symptoms of a lightning strike in a potato field. A lightning strike can result in a large dead area or dying area in a potato field. Typically, the first thought and fear is that the dead area is late blight. This is late blight, and the fear is rapid expansion of the disease. Late blight tends not to form as tight circles as lightning damage does. Varying degrees of dead plants are present as the pathogen grows. A close-up view of the foliage usually shows lesions and pathogen growth, as can be seen here. The plant will be dying, maybe quickly, as seen. This is a lightning strike. It causes a quick death, and the dead area is uniform in damage in that it does not spread after the strike. Interestingly enough, there is a laddering effect if the stem is split open. The remnants of some cell walls can be seen like rungs of a ladder inside the stem. This can be seen on the left as well. The center and right show the very rapid death and a very distinct boundary between living and non-living tissue. This is a characteristic of an abiotic or non-living entity that is causing a problem. There's no need for action on a grower's part for lightning damage. So if you think you have a problem in the field, it might not be late blight and it might not need any treatment at all. For this, and other potato information, please search for University of Maine Cooperative Extension Potato Program. This is Steve Johnson, University of Maine Cooperative Extension, bringing you this information on what are the symptoms of a lightning strike in a potato field.